Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and welcome to the follow-up video of that trip that I took in my Nissan LEAF from Maine to Rhode Island and back all in the same day. So why did I take the trip? Well, I wanted to prove a fact. I wanted to show you that one can take an electric car on a long-distance road trip. And with a little planning, combined with the ever-growing electric car charging infrastructure, not only is it possible, but you can have a little fun along the way. If you were keeping count in my previous video, you'll know that it took me four quick charges to make my way down there, and then another four on the way back. Total cost of the trip? Well, with Nissan's No Charge to Charge program, it was free for me this time around. Actually, I did have to pay for tolls down there and back, so that added up to about $15. And then I had both lunch and dinner at Burger King, so add $10 in there. So I guess total trip was $25. And speaking of the round trip, the total miles were 488 miles in one day driven on my electric car. That's awesome. So check this out. As I'm making the video here, I had a friend of mine give me a call on the phone. And he wanted to know if I'd be able to uh, make it up to Farmington and give him a hand with something on the farm. And I was like, sure, I don't mind doing that. But uh, problem is... My car's not fully charged. <laughs> we just did, we've done our errands this morning. We've already done our running around, and I'm at like 80%. So I'm near full, but I'm not fully charged. Uh, it would take me maybe two hours to bring it up to 100%. And when I go up to Farmington, I like to be at 100% when I leave. But I told him, it's like, hey, if you don't mind me plugging in when I get there so I can make the trip home, I don't mind coming up and helping you out. And he agreed to that. The only thing is, I didn't tell him what kind of plug I was intending on uh, bring in. I think he's under the pressure I'm going to just plug in with my level 1, which is fine if that's all I'm able to uh, plug into while I'm there. But I'd like to bring this with me, and if he's willing, I'd like to be able to plug in to his uh, dryer outlet when we get there. So we'll see what happens. Robin, you're a good friend. You've never let me down before. Fingers crossed that I can hook up with the level 2 when I get there. So it's 11.22, and I've got 81% on the battery. I can do 88 miles, but I can't do 100 miles. So, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm relying on you, Robin, to let me plug in when I get there. <laughs> got to do a uh, 100 miles thereabouts round trip. So, all right, here we go. All right, so I wanted to get a uh, shot of this when I got to this point. I'm at 61% on the battery right now and I am 21.2 miles. <laughs> so if I was going to my parents' house, now we know my parents are about 45 miles away, but, uh, and, and Robin is pretty darn close. He's, he's about the same distance. So <laughs> uh, knowing that I have to do another 20 miles, and that is the percentage I would normally show up there with is about 60%. Uh, I still need to do 20 miles, so I'm definitely going to be below <laughs> 60%. I'm going to be below 50% when I show up. So <laughs> this is uh, being here in Turner with 60% going in this direction. In any other circumstance would uh, make me nervous. But I'm not nervous because I know that I've got a place to charge up when I get there. Here we are, we're almost in Farmington, and I am now down to 38% on my battery. So <laughs> there is no way I'm getting home without recharging first. But that's all right, because we're gonna hook up to a uh, level two at Robbins, and <laughs> we'll be all set. And here we are, I made it to Robbins' place, <laughs> and I am down to 29% on the battery. Drove 51 miles, and I think I left with what, 80 or 81 percent? So, <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to uh, plug in here and charge this battery back up or I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> hey, Robin. Hey. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. How you doing today? We'll come, come around. I'll okay. So I made it to your place with 29% yep. on the battery. Oh, awesome. 51 miles I've driven so far. And you can see over there to the right, that's the guessometer they call it. I can drive 35 more miles according to that. So 
there's no way I'm making it home unless I charge up. So, <laughs> so still got 35 miles to go. Yep, still got 35 miles on here. And most likely, it's going to take you another 50 some miles to get home. Correct? It's going to take me at least 50. Well, you know, uh, it took me 51 miles to get here. I'd like to see that gasometer say 51, but I actually would like to see, say it say like 70 or 80. Okay, but with the 110. Wouldn't that be like a two-hour charge or something like that? Uh, 110 adds about four miles for every hour it's hooked up. All right, out we go. Oh. However, with yep. your blessing, I have brought something with me. My level two EVSE. Okay, so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. So do I actually have anything that's level two? You do. You have a dryer in your house. Okay. And if, if you're willing, I can use my extension cord that I brought. Well, I, I don't know, because it, my dryer's a four-prong, and most dryers I've seen is a three. I also have adapters with me. So. Oh, okay. All right, Robbie, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Good Lord, man, what do you have? Just a power <laughs> plant in here? <laughs> oh. So that's, that's my 50-foot uh, cable. How much I, that weigh? Feels almost six I have the one. I have the 110 as well. This is also 50 feet, but that's 110. So it's like a quarter. Four, four miles yeah. for every hour, 20 miles for every hour. Good Lord. We want the 20 mile one. Right. <laughs> All right. So what do we got there for? So we got that plug right there, sir. Oh, we're close. We're close. So this. This dryer is on a 30 amp breaker. I can tell by the shape of the plug here. That's a NEMA uh, 1430 plug, and I have a NEMA 1450. Okay. So I basically just need to put in an adapter on it okay. and drop the uh, amperage down. With a NEMA 1430, mm -hmm. I can do 80% of 30 amps, which is 24 amps. The LEAF only draws at, at a max on the level 2, 28 amps. So I'm going to just knock it down four amps, and I'm going to be pretty close to what it could have done anyways if I, if I was right, at home. Right. So I did bring the level one just in case, but, right. you know, um, don't need the level one because you do, have, you do have an outlet that we can use. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug this in. Whoop. So then... You just simply take this piece right here mm -hmm. and plug it into this adapter. Gives us an extra half a foot, <laughs> which we don't need in this situation. There we go. That's nice and snug. All right. And then this part we'll plug in. Yep. And we're just going to plug it in here. And there we go. We're plugged in. Plugged in. Awesome. So here we are. We're charging using the level two. EVSE here, and as you can see, we've got the 50 foot cable <laughs> coming out of Robin's house. Thank you so much, Robin. You're welcome. Let me see if I can zoom in over there. You can see the uh, what, what was it that we stacked over there, Robin? Uh, it's mostly sawdust. And whatnot. Sawdust. So the chores are done. We stacked the sawdust, <laughs> and the car now is been plugged in for about two hours. And you can see my third LED is blinking. So why don't we uh, go in there real quick and we'll take a peek at. How, how much of a charge we got there. <laughs> all right, so here's the uh, moment of truth, right? Yeah, all right, let's see where it looks. Let's see where we're at here. <laughs> I'm up to 88 miles. <laughs> You're That's back awesome. where you started. I'm back where I, where I started and back to the future. <laughs> so that's cool. That's really cool. So that brought it up to... Um, What's the percentage on the battery? Seventy-two percent. So that's crazy. I, I've never been that high in uh, Farmington. So, so thanks to you, Robin. In a matter of just two hours, yeah, it's three fifteen. That's that's not bad at all. Yep. Back up to eighty-eight miles. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So that was pretty cool. I was able to help out my good friend Robin there with some chores, and uh, I was able to get a charge while I was there. So, I am leaving Farmington to go back to Lewiston, Maine. And I have 73% on my battery. That I never have that much up here. So I can get back up to, or back down to uh, Lewiston, Auburn with no problems. That is so cool. And I, and I started this adventure with less than a full charge on my vehicle. 
just goes to show you, with a little bit of planning, you can take your electric car places you normally wouldn't venture into without a 100% charge, as long as you do a little planning ahead of time. All right, so I'm back home. I'm actually back at my dealership right now, just getting a quick fast charge before I head the rest of the way home. But as you can see here, I've got 99.8 uh, miles, so yeah, it was 51 miles from my doorstep to Robin's, so that would be uh, 102. So I'm just a couple of miles away from home and charging up here. Going to get a quick charge because I think I'm going to take my wife out to dinner tonight. So get this charged up real quick and then we'll head out to dinner. I'm right back to where I was when I left Robbins. Actually, just, just a smidge over, but and it's still going. It's going strong. You can see I'm at a 75% charge, and it's still taking 114 amps, so that's, that's good. And as you can see right here, I've been plugged in for 27 minutes, and I have the option of staying longer if I want to. But where the current is starting to uh, go down there, it's now at 71 amps. It was at 114. There's no point. 87% is more than enough, and I'm just going to unhook and uh, be on my way. Hi Benjamin! Hi Benjamin! Hi Ben! How you doing? Good. Good nap. You had a good nap? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go get some dinner? You, are you hungry? No. You're not hungry? No. How about you, honey? Are you hungry? I'm serving and so is he. You are being silly. Are you going to eat chicken fingers or are you going to have a hot dog? No, morning. It's cold because the door's open. It's nice and warm in here, though. Okay, there we go. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay. All right. I am hungry. You are hungry? <laughs> you ready to go? All right. Made it to Governor's. You ready to get some food, Ben? <laughs> oh, now, he's not hungry. now he's not hungry again. Are we gonna get some food? <laughs> sure. Benjamin, you gonna get something good? What do you see, Ben? There's a choo choo. Choo choo. Thank <laughs> you. 